Hello, my name is Anthony Russell, and I'm going to be walking you through some of the features of the Universal Motion Detector Elite application today. So the first thing we're going to do is cover the different sections of the application. Uh, there's three main sections uh, on this page. Uh, we have the navigation panel here on the left, uh, which allows you to get through the different sections of the application. There is this uh, section right here where there's images. Uh, these are the baseline images, which we'll cover in a moment and these would be your alert images. And then finally, there's a live feed from your camera. So on the dashboard page, as I said, you have these uh, two sections with images. Uh, these baseline images are images that the application takes, and then uh, it takes one every few seconds, and then it'll restart after, uh, I think, six or so of them. Uh, there you go, it just restarted. Uh, it takes these images, on a continuous basis as the application runs. It does this and then uh, to average them out to figure out what's in your camera view. Uh, the reason we do it continuously is that way we get a, uh, a continuous average of what's in the room uh, in case the light changes. Uh, that way we give you the most accurate view we can. Um, this panel over here, the alert images, this is where your images will appear when something uh, is detected in your camera. So if we bring our little lemur up here, you'll see that every couple seconds it'll take a picture of him because it detected him in the camera. Uh, now you're probably wondering why that was so slow, uh, why that only took a picture every few seconds. Um, and we'll get to that here in a second in the settings. But uh, I, I wanted to show you that uh, this, is, this is where this happens. Um, and as you can see, uh, you're capable of grabbing these images and saving them to disk if you'd like. Okay, so uh, let's move over to uh, the next section. Um, I, that's the free feature. Uh, I want to show you the premium features uh, as well really quick. So I'm going to go ahead and unlock the premium features. Okay, so I unlocked the premium features. Um, and as you can see, uh, you get two premium features here. You get a hidden mode and a alert sounds mode. Um, so the hidden mode, uh, if we go and head into that, uh, it does this really cool thing. It turns the application into a browser. The reason we do this is because uh, Microsoft has decided that when applications are minimized, uh, that they get zero resources. This application is, and no Windows Store application is allowed to access your camera while it's minimized. So the workaround I came up with is to create this incognito mode, which is a working browser. Um, you're able to navigate the web in it. Um, but something you'll notice here is if you click on the favorites button, it pops open our it pops open our application, and it's still working. Uh, and it works just like the dashboard, just as we saw. And if you go back to the favorites button, it turns into a web browser again. So that's really neat and it's a nice workaround for uh, the limitations of the UWP store. Um, and then the other feature I want to show you was the alerts. Uh, so if you look at the sound settings, uh, this comes with the premium as well. Uh, you're able to tell it to play sounds. Uh, and I actually, I like the, uh, I think I like this 8-bit one here. Uh, so I choose my sounds and I tell it to play every two seconds and you can also load your own custom sounds in here if you want But you can see that it does play a sound for you uh, Update my sound settings and I'm going to go back to my dashboard and now uh, If I Let's see here wait till it gets a baseline image in there Okay, so now if it alerts It'll continue to alert that sound every couple seconds, just like I have it set up, until I hit stop alerting. And this also works with the incognito mode as well. Um, so under the settings, I have another tutorial for how to configure it. Uh, just look in the comments below or in the application, click on configure settings, and you'll get another video on how to set that up. Uh, thank you for getting the application, and reach out to me if you have any issues. Thank you.